subscribe for my Java Fern nudes. <sighs> Let's go. Cory game fish fam, I'll go skate ball deep. There's only one thing on my mind in the morning, and that's wood. Stay hard, fish fam. Physics. I learned that. This is the wood peas we're working with today. We're gonna be planting this puppy up with some of my favorite plants, and luckily for me, these plants are known to be found just growing on certain areas in the house. One of the best places to look is actually in the toilet. Let's go. Dang, found some beautiful laundry just like that. You also can't go wrong with the freezer. Okay, okay. Two for the price of one. That usually doesn't happen. Mm. Lucky. Oh. Yo, Tooth Fairy came through big time. Okay, okay. I bought this one. So these are some of the plants that we'll be working with. Bucephalandra wavy green and Ketagang. Both rhizomal plants perfect for attaching to surfaces. Indigenous to the humid river system of Borneo in Indonesia, they are slow growing, highly shade tolerant plants that are naturally grown immersed from the water. In this case, when you think of Canada, you probably don't immediately think tropical humid rainforests. So we're gonna be dunking these into water or else they're gonna die here. We'll also be using an assortment of Anubias barteri, Nana, and Nana Petite. These plants are native to Central Africa, but despite originating from a completely different place due to the magic of convergent evolution in a similar climate zone, they've come to love the same conditions as Bucephalandra. Nature. Before we start attaching the plants, we should always assess the available space and structure of our hardscape so we can decide roughly where each plant will go. Subscribe to my only plants to unlock this premium video and watch the full feature. After securing the wood with a rock to submerge for later, we can finally start to plant. We're using Gorilla Glue Gel as it is aquarium safe and stays relatively relatively effective underwater for long periods of time. It's a little tricky to apply the right amount as we do not want to use so much that the roots are damaged and cannot breathe, but we also don't want to use not enough so that the plant will not attach and ruin the scape. Apply gentle pressure on the plant against the wood for at least 15 to 20 seconds before letting go to allow the gel to harden. Once you've gotten the main plants, you can start working on accent pieces and try different placements to see what looks best to you. Because of the easily entangled leaves and roots, you can take advantage of this and squeeze smaller plants between big ones to attach without using glue. Remember, less glue means healthier plants, after all. Depending on how dry your room is, you may want to regularly mist the plants to keep them wet. I learned the hard way that my room is exceptionally dry because one of my Anubius plants in the past was permanently damaged from being left out of the water for like 20 minutes. So this is now probably the single most expensive piece of wood I own and have ever owned. I'm excited to be using this in an upcoming scape called the Nurse Log Aquarium. Nurse logs are super cool and can be found in nature all over the place. I'm sure you've seen a few during hikes in the forest. We'll be going over nurse logs more in depth in that upcoming video, so make sure to subscribe with notifs on so you don't miss it. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video and let me know how I did in the comments. I'll see you guys there and don't forget to get your hands wet. Gone three days without furt. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest. No tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang, so loyal. Black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence. Gang violence, no cap. That could be fat. She wanna clap. 81 Fahrenheit. My boys get that whap. Put it on my tap. Three to one ratio. Breeders on the map.